Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. And in this video, we're going to be doing an introduction to Redux. I'm going to be telling you a little bit about what Redux is and why you'd even want to use it. So let's get going now. Okay, so before we get started actually coding anything, I'm going to talk a little bit about the what and whys of Redux and specifically in relation to working in React. Now, Redux, as it declares here, is a predictable state container for JavaScript apps. And while that kind of makes sense, right, it contains your state, right, it doesn't necessarily give the easiest picture of Redux, which is really that Redux is a big object with your application state. And some concepts that confuse people are the implementation of how you actually manage that state, uh, whether it's via jargony words like reducers and actions and stuff like that, all of which we're going to uh, be covering and making to be super simple, or whether it's the usage as in what goes into Redux itself and what goes into component state or where do you draw the line there? So there's a lot of things with Redux that can make it a bit of a confusing trip to learn. And so while I hope to make some of these things much more simple here, what you want to do is head to redux.js.org and kind of just leave this page open all the time because the Redux documentation is excellent. And there's a lot of stuff here for how small this library is, but if you get through it, you're going to have a good time uh, really just grasping Redux. So one of the advantages of Redux is, well, it's only two kilobytes. So it's a really, really small package and you don't have to worry about it adding a lot of bloat to your project. And the benefits it provides are going to definitely outweigh anything there. So let's check out Redux in action here. I have a Redux on the Level Up tutorial site, and you can see through the Redux dev tools, which is definitely one of the most excellent aspects of Redux is the usage of these specific Redux dev tools. We can see that we have some stuff here and some stuff here. Well, it says nothing states are equal right now. But let's take a look when I click the state tab, you can get basically what is an object or a tree of the state of my entire application. What's cool here is I have things like the checkout, is checkout open, false, right? Uh, the orders, the playlists, the products, the tutorials, and some of the stuff is empty. For instance, products is empty because we're not on any particular product page. However, tutorials is already loaded, and if we check this out, is all of the tutorial information that eventually gets loaded here. So in my implementation of Redux, I'm actually using Redux to load up the tutorials and the data of the state, as well as to determine things like the active tutorial. I'm also using Redux to determine some various things about the user, such as the user's information, uh, the logging in state, if they're currently logging in, if the user is currently loaded, or if the login window itself is open. So a lot of stuff can go into Redux and some stuff makes more sense than others. For instance, you can see we have a simple nav which is set to false. If I go into mobile here and I click the menu, you can see our nav is now set to true. Now many times you might think this kind of simple toggle of toggling a navigation menu doesn't need to be in a global state. It should be maybe in the component state itself. However, I want outside events to be able to trigger and change this navigation. Perhaps when doing something on an outside component, it will affect this navigation and close it or open it itself. And in that case, being able to use and manipulate and modify state outside of the component becomes much easier when using something like Redux as opposed to having to pass in a method into props and have to deal with the location of where that toggle is living. So we'll get into more of the specifics of when to use Redux and when to use application uh, React State later on. However, as you can see here, we're storing quite a bit of stuff into our Redux store. And what's great about that is we can trigger and change any of this data from any point in our application, and we can access any of this data from any point in our application using some simple tools. 
And the best part is everything stays organized. Everything has a nice flow because see here we have what are called our actions and, and this shows you when everything takes place. So at any given point, if I wanted to close the nav, I could just jump to that action and you can see my navigation closes. So everything becomes much more organized and you have a big handle on the global state of your application. Now all of these things look nice and it's easy for me to say that this is nice. However, the benefits really come once you start migrating a bunch of stuff to Redux and really seeing it in action. But before we get learning how Redux works within React, I'm going to take some videos here to really express the core concepts of Redux so that you get it in a very basic sense before we move on to building anything sort of complex like this. So we use Redux because it makes the state of our application much easier to manage and much easier to understand. Redux isn't anything more than a system for setting that state and updating that state and being able to control that state. There are numerous benefits to using Redux more than this that you'll go into as we keep going. However, all of them outweigh the criticisms, which may be that the code is too verbose and stuff like that. So we're going to be talking a little bit about why you use the syntax you use and why boilerplate isn't an issue and why you can actually use tools to reduce that boilerplate if it's a problem for you. So let's get fired up in the next video as we add Redux to a blank Create React app and get going writing some very basic Redux code. As always, if you want to complete this series and learn Redux inside of React at its absolute basics and really have a good handle on what you're doing as you grow to have more and more advanced state, then head on over to leveluptutorials.com forward slash store and purchase React and Redux for everyone where you can learn Redux completely fully like as a beginner and gain clarity on some of these things that have always been maybe a little bit difficult to learn or mysterious. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.